Hey Aries Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. So let's start your reading. We have January. We have date, lover, and spouse. We have strength. Some of you could be attracting a Leo, a Capricorn, or an Aquarius person. I feel like you might be going on a date. Say for instance, you're single, okay? This is for those of you who are single, not in a relationship, well, something could be happening if you are in a relationship with your significant other, your spouse, in the month of January. Some of you could be planning a wedding. Um, I feel like there's somebody coming into your life that's in very good shape. This person takes very good care of their body. You feel like a very solid partner. I feel like there's a strong connection between you and someone. We have close family member and haters. So some of you have a close family member that, that hates on you. They could be getting bad news. Okay. And then we have in the dark. Okay, there could be a lot of weird stuff going on in your family. People keeping you out of the loop. And then we have longing. Some of you are ready for love, ready for a relationship, or ready for something to be over or to begin, okay? So we're doing now, then, and later, but I'm going to do it like past, present, future, okay? What's going on with my Aries Collective? So this will be the now slash past card. And I know that sounds like a contradiction, but just work with it. So we have grieving. Wow. Some of you could have recently lost a family member. There could be a lot of bickering going on in the family dynamic. Like the matriarch, the patriarch passed away or something like that. Somebody got their wings. You see these, this beautiful um, butterfly here. Yeah. So for some of you, there could be a lot of... Somebody could have... I heard this before I even started your reading. Somebody could have hidden a disease, hidden an ailment, a health ailment. And maybe didn't tell the family or something. And then maybe they just suddenly passed. For some of you, and it could have like... really. Y'all know sometimes that sends shock waves and ripples throughout families. You know, it happens to the best of us where people start bickering with each other because that's how they're processing their grief. They start taking it out on each other. So that could be going on, but we have to see. I, I don't know if that's what the grief is about yet. What's the right now energy, present energy? Does somebody have an issue about singing at a funeral or something like that? It says sing your own song. I know that sounds trivial, but you'd be surprised at things that people fight about when people pass away. Uh, you know, it happens. So let me try this again. Spirit, what is happening right now for Aries? Thank you. Travel. Beautiful. Some of you had to maybe even travel for a funeral or something recently. Okay, what's going on in the future? What's there then? I'm not doing this all wrong. Ask part of the future. What's the future energy? Slash later. That's what I'm trying to say. Honesty. So some kind of truth is coming out. Somebody that's been keeping you in the dark. The truth came out or it will come out. Okay. And then we have uh, bless your lovely self, number 29. We have challenge standing up for your rights, number 13, which is the death card. And then we have harvest the honey, number seven. So I feel like this is you enjoying the fruits of your labor here. I feel like some of you... You're at, you're at odds with someone, and it feels like family. You're standing your ground with them. Some of you could really be spoiling yourselves, pampering yourselves right now, treating yourself like a queen or a king. And then we have cultivate peace, number 36. So any of these numbers could be significant birthdays, ages. Y'all know how it goes. So let's see what's going on. What's grieving? Why did I hear somebody hit a disease, an ailment, and didn't tell somebody? Didn't tell their family, didn't want their family to worry or something. That could even be you. I don't know. We have the Ace of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and the Star. Okay. If In fact, that is true that somebody was hiding an ailment. I feel like they thought they were going to beat it. The Ace of Wands and the, and the Star, that's healing. So this person could have been very confident, very motivated, and, and um, optimistic that they were going to be okay. Now, the Ace of Wands is good news. Ace of Wands is about getting in the game of life, not sitting on the sidelines, realizing that life is not a spectator sport. It's about taking inspired action, accepting the challenge here. So for some of you, like I said, I don't know why I'm strongly sticking to that story, but I feel like that somebody hit an ailment. That doesn't have to be everybody's story, but it just feels so strong to me. Some of you are also taking better care of yourself. I see the Ace of Wands as starting like an exercise routine um 
working out more. And this could even be how you meet this new person. Because I'm telling you, your new person that's coming towards you is very fit. Okay, so you might end up meeting this person at the gym or something like that. What is going on here with the Ace of Wands? The tower is in reverse. Yeah, it's like you're trying to avoid maybe the same outcome here. And I also feel like something went on with somebody's health, y'all. I, I don't know why I'm feeling that so strongly, but I do. Somebody could have fallen because the, the tower talks about broken bones. It talks about an accident. It talks about somebody's vital organs or even a natural disaster, y'all. So something could have happened here. Could have even been a house fire for some of you. Hopefully not. I'm sorry if that did happen to you. But this this grief is here. And I just, it's like I'm trying to make it be as positive as I can with focusing on, you know, accepting the challenge and all of that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Some of you, your grief is actually bringing in a new relationship. Like the universe is rewarding you with a new relationship. Yeah, somebody's world got turned upside down, the world in reverse. You could feel like there's unfinished business. You could feel like somebody feels cheated. Like, say, for instance, you have everything that you could ever want, but you're missing this loved one. And if it feels like you feel, I just feel somebody feeling cheated. Like, I never got to say goodbye. There's this lack of closure to a situation. Could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, a Capricorn person involved in Aquarius. I already said that. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius is here. So for some of you, this could be a loved one. This could even be very, very distant past. It doesn't even have to be something that happened recently. But I actually feel like you're about to meet someone new or you're about to get yourself involved in some kind of passion project that actually puts the spotlight on you with the star being here. This is wish fulfillment. It's healing. It's a miracle. Yeah, somebody could have been praying for a miracle, but they just it just didn't work out that way as far as their health went. I don't, obviously, that's not you, but I don't know. So travel is the fool. Look at him. Ready to travel. He got a small little backpack. Some of y'all could be relocating, possibly at the top of the year, Aquarius season. It's an Aquarius card. New beginning, Six of Cups. Yeah, I kind of feel some of you have traveled recently for a family something. I, I don't know if it was good news or bad news. But I feel like you traveled to be with family recently. Scorpio energy. What's the fool? So you have some kind of new beginning. Spirit wants you to take a leap of faith in a whole new direction. It could be setting up your life in a whole new city or state. We have the judgment and the queen of swords. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision and you're going to have to be very logical about your decision. Very assertive about what is it what it is that you want. And you're also being analytical. It feels like you're doing a lot of check, checks and balances right now before you make a decision. Scorpio, Libra energy. Some of you have learned a lesson in dealing with either Scorpio or Libra. Libra is your sister sign. Some of you are leaving behind somebody that is a consequence for what they did to you. Because the judgment is when the past has to be accounted for. So what's the Six of Cups? Yeah, you might have history with this person, children, maybe even a set of twins, or they could be a twin, or you thought they were a twin flame. This could have been over the last six months <clears throat> for some of you. So, something going to happen this summer. The judgment card is the summer. We have the three of pentacles and we have the death card. Wow, so the death card comes out. Yeah, I'm telling you, I feel like somebody actually passed, y'all. I don't know. I don't always read the death card that way, but it could be. Scorpio and Capricorn is here. Or some of you are ending a job. You're leaving one job and moving to another city or state to um, find new employment. Or maybe you're um, transferring or something. You could have put an end to a third party situation as well. Maybe you left somebody because you found out the truth about them. But this travel looks like it could be for work. It feels exciting or it feels like you are turning your back on somebody you don't want to be with anymore. And that's why you're traveling. What's honesty in the future? The seven of swords, dishonesty. Whoa. Okay. Aquarius energy. The strength card. You pulled the strength from my own little slips of paper, remember? Yeah, having the strength to walk away from someone after you found out they were dishonest. This is a kind artist, a scam artist, somebody who could be very embarrassed or ashamed about something that they did. They're very sneaky and selfish. Definitely going to put you in a third-party situation, but you have the strength to turn your back. 
You got a lion tattooed on your back right there. You can have Leo in your chart. Did y'all pull Leo? I can't remember. No, you pulled the strength card, but the strength card is Leo energy. So, hmm, this could be something that happened in Leo season or could involve a Leo. What's the seven of swords? So somebody was being deceptive here. It also talks about trust issues. Yeah, the hermit. I feel like either they ghosted you or you stopped talking to them because they lied. Virgo energy. And what is the strength card? The nine of wands. Oh my God. So you have endured a lot. So we have urgent work, work requests. Okay, so for some of you, you could be really worn out in a job. But I also feel like this is an ongoing battle. This is relationship PTSD. Some of you have endured a lot. And you're really facing the truth about somebody. Like you're no longer giving them cover. You're no longer giving, making excuses for them. You're just facing the truth of who they are and you're moving on with your life. Because this definitely talks about you holding your own in a situation that's very tiresome, very stressful. Being very worn out but still standing. The last man standing, the last woman standing. And you're a stand-up person. Like, you are an honest person. You're a person that makes sacrifices for other people. But somebody here didn't do the same for you. And we didn't have that you were in the dark about something. And I feel like it's this possibly an Aquarius, a Libra, a Scorpio for some of you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. That's the family with the Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody could have stolen some money. And then the Four of Wands with the um, Five of Swords. Yeah, there's some kind of deception going on in the family. Somebody could be keeping you out of the loop. And like I said, I see you sitting around with family eating. And it's here a couple of times. So there could be a dispute going on over like a family home or an inheritance or something. We have Aries Energy, which is you. And I feel like you're a team player. We got Aquarius and we got Virgo. It feels like some mess is going on. Like somebody could be stealing money, insurance money, or forging some documents or doing something crazy here. The hangman and the eight of pentacles. Some money could be being held up right now. It could be an investigation or something going on with the hermit here. For sure. Let's get some advice for you. That reading was wild. Because I don't even know what the hell I just said. <laughs> advice for Aries. We have connect. You're being asked to connect with others in meaningful ways. Sometimes it's helpful to get new perspectives and to simply be around other people. You're in need of this right now, and deep connections will benefit you in many ways. Some of you are finding your soul tribe, but I also feel like you've been around your family for some reason recently, like at a, at a big gathering. It could have been because of something somber, though. You have seen my descent. Now watch my rising. This is a breakthrough, success, overcoming all obstacles. Yeah, you're going to be just fine. You got the strength card here. Strength card is all about killing people with kindness as well. Um, it represents having nerves of steel. It represents being afraid but doing something anyway. It represents being very uh, much a peacemaker, a positive influence over other people. You, you like the voice of reason here in this judgment call with the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have give. One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. I feel like some of y'all been giving too much to people. Have they appreciated it? Probably not. Ooh, too many, too many. Okay, y'all. So let's see. We have allow. You're being asked to open your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to, to allow goodness into your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It is safe to open yourself back up. We have check in. When you think you're when you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier? Excited or filled with dread. Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. Oh, I already read that one. Okay, y'all. That's going to be it. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Leave me a comment if you so choose. I love hearing from you all. And I'll see you all next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.